Hey guys, I'm Josh and welcome to the channel. In today's HomeKit quick tip, I'm going to show you how to set up a new feature in iOS 14 called Activity Zones. Activity Zones let you define a specific region of what your camera sees, so you're only notified when there's motion in that zone. This can be handy, for example, if you have a camera monitoring your front yard. You can set a zone around the yard to be notified when there's motion there, but exclude the cars passing by out on the street. To use Activity Zones, you will need to use an Apple TV, a HomePod, or an iPad set up as a Home Hub and a compatible camera. In my example here, I'm using the Eve Cam as a camera and Apple TV as the Home Hub. Let's jump over to the iPad and I'll show you how to set it up. So here we are on the iPad and I've opened up the Home app. Now I have my camera as a favourite down here, but if you don't, choose the room that the camera is in, then tap to open the camera. From here, tap the gear icon up the top left and scroll down to where it says Select Activity Zones. Now to set a zone, it's just simply a matter of tapping on the screen to draw a shape. In this example here, I've created a zone around my balcony, so I'll be notified if there's any movement within the balcony, but any in this shaded area out here, I won't be told about. To add additional zones, it's simply a matter of tapping to draw more shapes. You also have the option to invert the zones. So in this example here, I won't be notified about motion on the balcony, but I will be told about motion inside my apartment. But to remove an activity zone, it's simply a matter of tapping to clear. We'll invert that zone back, so now I'll only be told about motion on the balcony. Select done, close that window, and that's it. So as you can see, setting up activity zones is quite simple through the Home app. If you need any help with this or anything else HomeKit related, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. And as always, if you like this video, click the thumbs up, hit subscribe and I'll see you over in the next one.